morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to visit with you today. Absolutely. Um, so I know that maybe some people uh, are aware of the El Dorado Chamber of Commerce, but for those who are unfamiliar with the organization, could you tell us a little about the chamber? Excellent. I, the chamber is here in El Dorado and within the region uh, to help support businesses. Uh, we're here to help advocate for businesses, provide education for businesses, to be a leader in the community, and to help build relationships uh, throughout the business community here in El Dorado and, and cities beyond. Uh, so that's primarily our focus. We're a membership-based nonprofit, uh, and so we have many of the businesses here in El Dorado and beyond who, who are members, and we support them uh, as best we can with information to the rest of the community, uh, as well as uh, education type features that we can provide to them to help fill some gaps for them uh, when, they, when they occur in, in their business operation. Okay, so thank you. I was, I was wondering when you said it's a membership organization, what does that mean specifically to local businesses? Well, it means that we're a nonprofit, but uh, we're not a 501c3. We're a 501c6, so it means that we go out, we get members, and then they are our constituents. They are the people that we support. So I, I know we've discussed briefly about some of the events coming up in 2022, and um, I was wondering if you could share with us a little about those events. Really excited. Uh, our, our first annual dinner uh, since the pandemic started will be March 1st here at the Civic Center at 530. Uh, it's tickets. Tickets are available for our members. Uh, we have some tables already set up, reserved for some of our, uh, our higher level members. Uh, but uh, we're going to have Charlie Moon coming and talking to us and, and being our feature presenter. And if you don't know Charlie, he's, he's a hoot, as they say. Uh, he's very entertaining. Uh, he's a fantastic auctioneer. Uh, he even got me to buy or bid on uh, an eight-week-old puppy once, and I bid against myself. And that's how good he is to raise money for the Lord's Diner. So that's how I, I got one of our, our dogs. So he's really good, very entertaining, and we're excited about having him here. Well, it does sound interesting. So um, so people who are interested in, in attending the annual dinner, how would they go about uh, registering or getting tickets? Yeah, our members are, will, uh, can call the office, uh, they can uh, get online and reserve their, their tickets. Uh, so either one of those vehicles is a good way to do that. Okay, thank you. Uh, you alluded to membership levels. Could you describe what the levels are a little in detail? You know, I, I didn't come here five months ago to change everything, but when I saw how our structure was, I thought it has to be different. It has to be more value to our, to our members. So first of all, I completely got rid of the nonprofit category as a separate category because quite honestly, that is a professional organization who needs some of the benefits that some of our other tiers pro provide for. And so each tier that we've created now has a nonprofit category or a seasonal category so that they can choose to pay that fee discounted because they're a nonprofit but still get those benefits. So we have the very first level, which most of our members are a part of, is the professional level. And so that gets you certain benefits. And as I said, it has a nonprofit uh, discount, uh, nonprofit and a seasonal discount. Uh, and so then we have the uh, partner level, which is the next level up, the executive level, which didn't change, that's exactly what it was called before, and the leadership level, which is our top top tier. But then there was still something missing for me, and it was a new startup business category. So if you're a new startup business, five employees or less approximately, we, we created that so that we can at least give you a ribbon cutting, at least do some social media advertising and help you get through that first year and succeed. It automatically puts you into the professional level the, the following year. But it was a way for us to, to help young, entrepreneurial, uh, new business startups to, uh, uh, that are really small to help them get started. 
The other thing we did is we have a number of businesses, business owners here in town who have multiple businesses. And I didn't feel it was right to charge them the full fee for each single business. So we have, we created associated businesses. So if you own one business, you pay the normal fee, but then your associated businesses pay a reduced amount. It keeps them all together. It keeps them uh, healthier uh, and they get all the benefits anyway. So we felt like that was the right thing to do for the, for the, bus for the owners who have multiple uh, businesses here in town to help support what they're trying to do uh, in the community as well. So that was one thing. The other thing I felt was being a member of the uh, Kansas Executive Director of Chambers uh, organization, I got to learn about what other people pay or at other people's uh, chambers, other localities' chambers. And I felt like last year, our professional level, which was called the founder level, we were paying too much. We were asking too much. So I reduced that amount. And again, it was to help our, our professional level businesses succeed, get these benefits that we've listed for them, and maybe even encourage them then to go up to the partner level the following year. So we've done all those different things, created some new uh, benefits for them to, to utilize, including uh, joining us for a podcast, uh, social media, uh, the, the table, tables for the higher levels at, uh, at the annual dinner, uh, but to really encourage their participation in chamber events and community events. You can pay your fee every month and go away and, and run your business, but I think you get a lot more out of the chamber when you volunteer or when you participate in chamber events. I think that's so critically important from a community aspect is to participate and uh, volunteer, be a member of a committee, uh, be a contributor uh, to the community through that vehicle. And uh, so we hope that will encourage that as well. That's fantastic. And I, I think that it'll be a great benefit to a lot of businesses too, maybe that have seen a downturn in, in business and, and having that reduced cost mm -hmm. be really beneficial. So. Which we have seen. Uh, I think everybody has seen. Uh, so. We wanted to encourage people to remain with the chamber, but still volunteer and, and participate in the community. Fabulous. So we did touch on a little bit uh, upcoming events, the annual dinner. Is there something that uh, you're really excited about, maybe a new event this year? We have a few new events. First of all, we're going to have a legislative coffee March 5th. Uh, so that'll be, that'll be great. I always enjoy our legislators coming back and talking to us and sharing with us what's going on in Topeka. Is it going the way we had all hoped it was going to go? And to give them our ideas about how they, they should drive, uh, drive those things, those different issues up in Topeka. Uh, we also have a career fair, uh, again, from our best committee. That'll be done on uh, April 20th at the 4-H Club building. So we're very excited about getting that back on the rails again. But we're bringing a couple new, new things to light. Uh, early days, we haven't designed it totally. I wanted to be able, the chamber, to give back to the police and, and fire departments here in town. And I think I found a way to, to do that by having a .31 marathon. And that's just walking around the block, literally. Uh, I haven't found a place to host it yet, but hopefully we'll have different stops to try different kinds of beers or different kinds of uh, bourbons, maybe some chips and salsa uh, as we go around. And the admission to that will be a specially designed t-shirt. And uh, all those proceeds will go towards the police and fire foundations here in El Dorado. Very excited about that. We've talked a little bit about uh, a bowling tournament and a golf tournament. Those things are still being talked about. But the greatest, uh, the biggest thing I think we'll achieve this year besides the uh, foundation for the police and fire is the Reese Across America. And so on the first Friday of December of this year, we will have a, a networking event here at the Civic Center uh, where the cost of entry, it will be a wreath from Wreaths Across America. 
Uh, and of course, if you and, and your spouse come, you buy two, they get a third one for free from Reese Across America. And so that'll help us put more Reese on the gravestones of, of our fallen soldiers at our, uh, at our cemeteries here in El Dorado, which I participated in doing this past year and found that very, very rewarding uh, and thought a lot about my father who had passed away. He was a World War II veteran. So it, uh, it was meaningful for me and I think it'll be meaningful for everybody. But we'll have a, a you know, a, a appet heavy appetizer kind of an event, people meet and greet. And then we'll also ask some of our businesses to buy a larger wreath, decorate it, and have a competition. Uh, and then auction those wreaths off to the participants there at these, this event. And uh, so that'll be a fun evening, I think. It'll kick off the Christmas season. Our, our community partner, Main Street, then has their Christmas por portion the next day on Saturday. So together, we're going to have this uh, Christmas launch weekend uh, with Chamber and Main Street. And uh, we're lo really looking forward to that. It sounds like we've got a lot of things to look forward to in 2022. I hope so. So if, is there anything that I haven't asked you about that, um, that you'd like to share with our audience? We have a lot of other things going. Uh, as you know, I, I came into this job about five months ago. Uh, I'm a retired aerospace worker, uh, but I, I can't stand doing anything uh, without full effort. And so I think what you're going to find from the chamber this year uh, is, is great effort in bringing the value to the business community, uh, always open to new ideas, uh, always open to having a coffee or, or a sit down with anybody who, who'd like to come by and, and, uh, and talk about what's needed here in El Dorado from a business perspective and how we can support that effort as well as from a legislative standpoint. We advocate legislative agendas with uh, the chamber in Wichita, along with several other chambers in South Central Kansas. So any ideas, any, any positions that people want me to bring forward, uh, that's why I'm here and I'm, I'm happy to go do those things. Thank you for joining us on an episode of Everyday El Dorado.